Well, welcome to a new Dave's Workshop Tours video and today I'm in Melbourne's East at the Healy factory. Don't be fooled by the name, it's not just Healy's they work on here. It's a big old setup with a sales showroom and both repair and restoration work going on across the site. So let's go inside and see what they're up to. Okay, uh, Chris, what have we got here? Uh, this is 1976 Ferrari 308 GTB fiberglass dry sump car. So that means it was an English car. Um, came to us a number of years ago um, to finish a restoration. We found out it had uh, a poor starting point. So we had to start again, remove all the fiberglass out of body panels, rebuild the space frame, rebuild the engine, paint the car and start putting it back together two restorations that have appeared online just recently in particular that space frame is coming from britain it, it perishes yes, it perishes even the, they have an oval um, chassis tubing that runs through the car at three points that, that completely rusted away right right so, so a lot of work uh, uh, oh, in massive amount of work so would you say the owner on purchasing it from britain knew of these uh... no it was bought it was actually for sale in australia as oh, an right. unfinished project uh, he didn't realise to the extent of what was wrong with the car, but nobody really did until we pulled it apart. Yeah. And did that rot go all the way through the, the metalwork underneath? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to have uh, the tubing. Um, we sourced some from the UK. Yeah. And then we had to, you know, cut out the full length. And they were, they were about a metre and a half long uh -huh. on, the, on the car and put complete new tubes through the car. Wow, wow. And how long has this process taken? longer than it should have. <laughs> the, what the main problem with is, is trying to get Ferrari parts, dealing with Ferrari um, suppliers and finding the actual parts as well. Yeah. All extremely difficult. And are they particularly difficult on this, on this car? No, the parts? I Any would say Ferrari are just a lot worse than a lot of other manufacturers. Right, right. And how many hours is going to be put into this uh, once you've put it out the door, do you think? Let's have a look at that I space. honestly couldn't tell you without <laughs> looking at what we've actually done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many. Sure. <laughs> the paint on this, has this been done in-house here? Everything's in-house, body, the fiberglass repairs, the paint work. The car started life uh, as a silver car when yeah. it was brand new. Oh, That's wow. why we've redone it in the original colour. Yeah. But when it arrived to us, it was in a metallic blue colour. All oh, right. A Ferrari colour? That... No, 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 just a metallic blue oh, colour. right, okay. Yeah. Well, it's uh, like all the other paint work around that I'm seeing that's been done in the house. It's pretty spectacular. It's amazing colour. What's the name of this one? The colour? The silver? I'd have to, I'd have to look it look up. Look it up, yeah. Yeah, well, there's plenty of 308s being recommissioned uh, of late. Um, this one stands out a bit. But, uh, oh, it'll be a special car once it's finished. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Original Tirana in work time here. X, XU1. Right. Um, oh, great. Original yeah. car. Came to us uh, most probably around about 12 months ago. Accident damage. So we've had to uh, completely put a new front on the car. Two guards, front panel, bonnet, inner guard, engine bed suspension. Right. Uh, and, then, uh, and then repaint the car as well. And parts-wise, how difficult are these? Uh, Trying tools? to find genuine parts is, is very difficult for the uh, early Holdens. You can get numerous aftermarket items, but uh, genuine items is fairly difficult. We have been able to source them in the end, but it's, it's taken some time and also restore the parts that we've got to a usable condition as well. And is the Australian aftermarket scene yeah, for these cars, is that...? Uh... It's enormous. Right. Yes, yeah. enormous. Yeah. Yeah. Parts quality? Oh, the parts quality is not bad at all. Um, it, it's not 100% correct, but it's, uh, it's still pretty good. Right. Lovely. OK, so, and this is, uh, you say this is about... This is, an this is an insurance claim, yes. Yep. And a year old? A year it's been in, in the shop with you? It'll be coming up to about a year, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And again, the paint. Stunning bloody paint. Wow. 
And what about the chrome work and what have you? Do no, you... that's all original. On the, on the front, there's a new, new bumper bar that's been re-chromed to go on, and the grills have all been refurbed. Yeah. Um, new headlights, indicators. Yeah. But uh, from, from the doors backwards, it's all the original car. Right, right. Uh, waiting for the wheels to, uh, coming back from being re refurbed, get some new tyres on it, and then we can start the engine back up, check, check everything's okay, have a wheel alignment, and... Uh, it's about ready to go back out then. Great stuff. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, Chris, uh, what have we got here? Uh, 1954 van door combi van. 54? 54. 54, so extremely early van. Yeah. Very difficult to find parts for, for 54s because they change quite a lot of the items on 55 and you can get just about anything for a 55. Right. But 54... Seriously. Extremely difficult. So the parts uh, it, search has gone worldwide on this one. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And where would the most parts be found in California or this kind of thing, or uh, Germany? Back to Germany. Luckily, on this van, most of it could be restored, so right. uh, we haven't had to get too much from overseas. Yeah. But the um, the front opening windows. They rusted away on the van, and there's only one company in the world that make them, and they're in the UK. Right. So we had to have a, a pair of the Safari windows made uh, in the UK for the van. Yeah. Yeah. And the rest of it is uh, just about the original van, but restored. Um, what sort of state did it come? It was a bright orange colour with a white roof. Uh -huh. um, been sitting for many years, but uh, totally unmolested. Right. Uh, not not too much rust to deal with. Little bit in the areas where the where the uh, safari windows close. Typical lower front panel, one of the sills, and at the at the rear door, um, the hinge for the engine compartment lid. Right. So not the uh, complete lower lower half of the no, car. No, 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 no. It was it was a good van. <laughs> Being on the rotisserie, so it's had everything done underneath, yeah. inside out. Um. God, looks fantastic. Again, the paintwork, mate. The paintwork. Oh, oh it's complete throughout, hey? Nut and bolt uh, job. Nut and bolt, every last nut and bolt, yes. And then. Uh, what sort of use do you reckon this will get? Pardon? What sort of use do you reckon it will get? Minimal. <laughs> <laughs> Side or the other side. Oh, yeah. And oh, and the engine. What's uh, what blocks have got in there? It, it, re original. original engine, all oh, totally right. rebuilt. Okay, back, so back to standard. That's a stunning piece of work. And how long have you got left on this one, do you think? Oh, as long as it takes. It's just a matter of, I'm waiting for the trim to be done and finish off a bit of the wiring. Um, so do you have trimmers for different brands, uh, different marks uh, that you would you oh, well, trust stuff I've to? I've got a couple of trimmers that I use and they only do classic cars. Right. Uh, well, I've actually got in, there's a, there's a specialist in the, in the local area and all he does is Volkswagens. And, yeah. He's doing the interior on that one for us. Right, okay, nice one. So, CSL, that's a colour I haven't seen in this. Uh, that's the original colour. Original colour. Yep. Tell us uh, what you've uh, been doing to this one. Uh, Total restoration of everything. Right. Um, we've had to put uh, a, a CSL, the L stands for lightweight, so it has aluminium bonnet, boot and door skins. Yeah. Um, in the, uh, the race car version, they had um, Perspex windows, mm -hmm. but this was done for the mass production, so it has, um, it has glass windows in it.
came to us and the owner said, the car's ready to be painted, would you paint the car for me? So I said, yeah, drop it off. I had a look and said, well, we need to start again because um, the bodywork that's been done to the car isn't up to a good enough standard to start spending good money on paint. And paint's very expensive, so you're not going to waste it. Sure. Um, so then it ended up that we had to put uh, new door skins on the car, um, lower front sections on the front guard, on the rear guard, inner and out the sills, A and B posts, remove the two front guards and front panel, re rebuild the inner support brackets in the bulkhead, put a new um, parcel shelf area in, um, and, and then a repaint as well. So it's been on a rotisserie, all the underneath has been done to an extremely high standard as well. So these were now, the, the, they, were, they rusted through pretty easily. Oh, so any, any car of, the, of those eras, they never had the best of paint pro, uh, protections, yeah. coatings put on them. Um, Australian cars seem to, you know, weather a lot better than if it was a European yeah. car. So I, I guess it's uh, for you, it's been a bit of a pleasure coming over here. Yeah, well, there. my background is a spray painter. Uh -huh. Um, so, you know, um, I can see the, the joys of what a really good paint job on a car yeah, can, yeah. can give somebody. So the mechanicals for this car are, are just about ready. Um, just waiting on the wiring loom to, to come back from being refurbed. We'll put that in, then we can drop the engine and gearbox in the car and then finish off with the trim work. All the timber work on the inside of the car has been re-veneered. And, and finished off. Yeah. I've just got that's... the windows sitting on the car at the moment with the rubbers on, just trying to get some shape into the rubber seals before we uh, attempt to put the, the glass into the car. Yeah. We have done a couple of modifications on this car. Is um, It's got fiberglass uh, rear bumper on the car, um, rather than the chrome ones. It's got the boot spoiler fitted. It is going to have the roof spoiler on the car as well when it's finished oh, right at the very yeah. end. These were also known as a Batmobile. Batmobile, yeah. 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 So, so, so the, you've, got, uh, you've got the uh, air guide on the front yeah, guard. Yeah, sure. So the, why, why would you go for that, uh, the bumper? Lightweight. Just, just for the lightweight, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and it's got the front spoiler as well, rather yeah. than having bumpers on. Yeah. And it, that didn't come from factory. Like they would have come chrome from factory, though. Chrome from factory, yes. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this. And I have got the original ones. We've re-chromed them, but we we've gone for a sort of a specific look with yeah, the bumpers I'm and the and loving the, the black and, and, and uh, no bumper on the on the front of yeah, the car. Yeah, taking off that a little bit of um, chrome trim is certainly. Um, yeah, but the seventies colour is absolutely oh, beautiful. It's, it's just a standout colour. I've just got to say, your paintwork here is just phenomenal. And I, I'm loving the idea this, uh, all this wood's been really yeah, I've got a, as I've, well. Well, I've got a local mm. chap that does that. He'll be in his 70s oh. now, works from home. So Maybe when he goes, in. that's the end of an so era, no. unfortunately, there. Mm. Why? But, he, but he's still doing it at the moment. I've just had a, another it's set he dropped off last week. So we'll keep him employed as long as is we he can. Is he enjoying his work still? Did you reckon? Yeah, 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 I reckon yeah, he does. If you're doing it at 70, you've got to be, haven't you? But he this started off doing um, guitars and violins. Wow. And then uh, he realised that market was sort of, you know, finishing. So yeah. he went into automotive. And he's been doing automotive for around about the last 40 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's just stunning, isn't it? Just stunning. Another one. Can't wait to hear this one uh, turn over for the first time and roll on out. Especially this colour. I mean, usually they're in silver and everything, aren't they? These uh, three uh, CSLs. Yeah, there's so to see one in this colour. Well, there's quite a lot of different shades of colour on these cars, and and they seem to be in uh, in favour at the moment because I've got I've got another two downstairs in the panel shop that we're doing, and I've got another two to come to us in the future so oh wow but they're, they're extremely valuable cars so Absolutely. they're worth spending the money on as well yeah i'm not sure if it's come across but i'm absolutely blown away by the quality of the paintwork at this place let alone all the other work they do
Anyway, there's plenty more to come, including a lot more on the mechanical side of the shop. Leave your comments below on anything you've seen and make sure you like, subscribe and share for more Dave's Workshop tours to come. In the meantime, there's plenty more videos on the channel, so why not go back and take a look, starting with this one.